height you built me again as always, more in a way even better. Um, yeah, as you can tell from the header as always from this um, of this video, I'm gonna lay emphasis on uh, Egregore specifically because I noticed that it still seems to go over a lot of people that heads what the benefits are of an egregore, so a thought form, essentially a self-created spirit. Um, in a recent video I did, a short video, I simply explained that um, you, you could, if you haven't seen that video yet, just wait until the end screen of this um, video or check the link in the description. In any case, in that video, I simply told people that um, that the egregores, the, the thought forms I create now, thanks to me being at peak power, uh, in the wake of my divine uh, dark Cairo energy, um, I can um, the egregores or the thought forms that I create now are literally stronger than ever. And uh, I also stated specifically to keep a long story short that you no longer have to wait when create when I create an egregore for you. You don't have to wait for the egregore to become strong, as was the case as is the case by default for any sorcerer that creates an egregore for you. Any magician that creates an egregore for you. Um, so yeah, my egregores are like supercharged. Okay, I have a customer that already ordered three, and he has a lot of egregores. Uh, and um, and I'm also gonna link his um, thingy, his um, his testimonial in the end screen or um, in the link. It's also I'm also gonna place the link in the description of this video. So check out whichever one you want if you're wondering whom I'm referring to. In any case, this guy has a lot of egregores and uh, so he can definitely compare in real time and like I said in that video, he really... and when he, I keep having to tell him, I told you so, I told you so, did I not tell you so? Because he can't, he's simply astounded by the difference in quality, okay? That already sums up how big the difference is. So in any case, by comparison, on a scale of 1 to 0 to 10, the egregores that I used to create back in the day, that's the average egregore that a sorcerer will create for you times two, essentially, because it's me, obviously. Now, not that I'm putting myself upon a pedestal, but you know the deal, it's me, Marino Ravenberg. On a scale of zero to ten, these egregores were like a three or four. The egregores I create for you now will be an eight, a nine, okay? At absolute lowest, a seven and a half. At its absolute lowest. In any case, um, yeah, so those are the benefits. The egregores are super, super, super duper strong. And again, I managed to bridge that gap to the point where you don't need, um, uh, the egregore doesn't need some time to gain experience and to become stronger in relation to whatever task it's assigned to in relation to you as a customer, if you order an egregore from me. So you'll have a spirit that is strong right from the get-go, just shooting out of the gate. Uh, and he'll get things done for you right away. He, she, or it, or it will get things done for you right away. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna give people a couple of ideas. Just go through, uh, or I'm just gonna give people a run through because a lot of people, they still have difficulty. They still have difficulty, you know, understanding what I, what they can do or how practically, how to apply it practically. So how practical it is and how, um, how, how convenient it is. Uh, first up, uh, keeping an eye, keeping an eye, keeping an eye on someone, PI style. Keeping an eye on someone is like having your very own spiritual private investigator. Okay, most people, we all know what a private investigator is. Someone that simply researches someone and then essentially follows them around and keeps track of all of their activities for whatever ends. Um, with an egregore, for example, let's just say that you have someone that you want to keep an eye on, someone that you, someone that, again, for whatever reason, you literally want to keep an eye on that person, that individual. Uh, imagine, for example, um, um, for example, wanting to keep an eye on your family members or anyone. Okay, uh, again, uh, the, before, um, just to, to clear up any kind of... Um, um, questions in terms of morality. This is not immoral or questionable even. No, 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 no. You're within your rights to keep an eye on someone uh, and to see what they're doing and thinking and whatnot. It's essentially a more real-time spiritual version of divination because if I want to know what someone thinks about me or what someone is doing, etc., I have several ways of going about it. I can easily do so and I'm well within my, my karmic and my spiritual rights to do so. I'm not bringing the person any harm 
or, or, or that uh, a person that's innocent, nor am I doing anything that even remotely would resemble that. So yeah, make no mistake. Uh, any, everything that I mentioned here is purely moral. Even if you were to choose to do something immoral, you'll only be the one facing the karmic backlash. So yeah, you've been warned beforehand and you also need to be considerate of stuff like that. Common sense tells you. In any case, yeah, this is one, this is something that's very practical, okay? Imagine having a spirit that essentially, it's better than a private investigator that not only tells you uh, what someone is doing essentially, but it also tells you what their thoughts are, as in what thoughts are growing, going through their heads. Uh, of course, that doesn't mean that every minuscule thought will be relayed to you, unless that's specifically what you want, but that's wildly impractical. Let's just say any thought that you need to be mindful of, literally. Something like the person, for example, setting themselves up to lie to you, the person, for example, uh, planning on canceling an appointment, you name it. The beauty is that the egregore will keep an eye on that person and will always essentially stay near that person or with that person and monitor, if you will, their brainwave activity, monitor their, um, their state of mind and what thoughts are going through their head and he'll, he'll, he, she or it will relay that back to you in real time and also where the person is physically. Uh, generally speaking the former is easier because measuring someone's state of mind is easier than reading someone's state of mind is easier than actually reading where they are physically because the two you should sometimes don't always have to align. I mean someone can think about for example a meadow or being in a meadow and then the person is knee deep in traffic if you will in a matter of speaking so those are definitely things that you need to be considerate of uh, or that need to be taken into account when creating your egregore but yeah you can see the point of it okay how convenient and how practical it is the person has no idea that um, that he or she is being scanned or monitored and and that all the information is easily all the data is collected and then brought back to them that's the beauty with a private investigator someone that is like you know another human being the person has to hide themselves, obscure themselves, and the person can't read thoughts, you name it. It's one of the biggest issues that people nowadays have as in, I can't see into your heart. You know, someone can be, can be laughing with you, but the person also have, all the while having nefarious um, thoughts about you in their minds as in, ha ha, you son of a bitch, in their mind. Yeah, like that. So with this egregore, this, with a thought form that specializes in this, then you can see the benefits, okay? I mean, you can see the benefits uh, uh, in terms of, of practical things, even for, for example, um, a wife that, for example, for some reason expect, suspects a husband either cheating on her or simply doing things that she doesn't approve of, you name it. This will also come into play. This would be very practical. Parents and, and their children, if parents want to know what the, where their children are at, what, the, what their children are doing, all of that the the um, the spiritual private investigator can definitely easily relay that information and again not only that by default similar to a human being he'll become better and stronger and more adept as time passes and um, uh, the information will definitely be um, brought to you in a more convenient way regarding this subject lastly I need to emphasize as well for people that don't have clairvoyant faculties so average people, essentially, people that have literally no spiritual affinity whatsoever. What you can expect in such a case, because of course this is not like, this is not, um, you're not going to have some entity walk up to you and say, hey, listen, he or she is doing this and this and that and that. No, that's not how it works in real time. It'll be brought to your attention, okay, in general. So that means that if, for example, um, let's just say that you're, you're a father, and you want to know what your daughter is doing essentially because she's in a, in a like a, she's in a, a, a fragile period in her life, okay? She's going through teenage years and whatnot. And you're afraid of several things, you know, drug, alcohol abuse, she might hang out with the wrong crowd, blah, 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 blah. Then you can simply have an egregore keep an eye on her, specializing in that. One of my egregores, one of my thought forms, and he'll tell you openly what she's, what she's doing, what she's thinking. Monitor everything essentially, her state of mind, the thoughts going through her head, as well as her physical activity or hand or activities. In that case then, you as the father, if that father literally is just the average guy, the guy is a car salesman or similar, he has little to no interest in the occult or anything like that. 
okay? Then what you can expect is that stuff, the egregore, is going to bring things to the father's attention. As in, for example, the father will all of a sudden feel the need to go somewhere and or go to a specific location and it turns out that his daughter is there. The egregore guided him to that or he'll simply stumble upon a number uh, that belongs to uh, us that turns out to be like uh, the secret and secondary number that his daughter is using you name it in any case the information will be relayed back to to will be relayed back to the person to the, to the, to the requester the inquirer in a convenient way based on the situations and circumstances and conditions available that's what I mean and Again, as always, the benefit is that Negregori lasts a lifetime. This is not some like one type deal or a temporary deal now. A spirit created for you will last you a lifetime, essentially. The spirit by default I program all of the Egregories that I create to die whenever the master dies. So essentially the second the father passes on in the example I gave, uh, or if you pass on physically, then your Egregori, if you do order one for me, unless you specifically want that to not be the case, he'll die with you. So he'll cease to exist the second you pass on uh, from the physical world, obviously, so you die. So yeah, you can see the benefits, okay? I mean, imagine if I had, for example, a rebellious teenage daughter. You, you can see how handy this is. I mean, I can pay a private investigator, I can do this, I can do that, and you know, it still doesn't give me a complete loop. It doesn't put me in a complete loop, in the complete loop in relation to my daughter. It doesn't give me all the information I would want. With the Egregore, I pay a one-time amount. I have, I need to have the Egregore created. I mean, of course, me being who I am, I'll create one myself, obviously. I simply create one. Um, if I wasn't me, then I would simply pay to have it done one time. And then I have this guy for the, the rest of my life, you know. I can literally, the guy will tell me what my daughter is thinking, what her thoughts are on me what thoughts are going through her head, what she's doing, what her intentions are, etc, etc, etc. We're talking about detailed, as detailed as I would want it to be. You can see how invaluable this is, all of this is. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, just an example point number one. But this is, as you can see, I'm simply going to list all the possibilities. People usually overlook these possibilities, so it simply doesn't come to mind. Another... Um, Another example is protection, shielding you from negativity. Negativity in any way, shape or form. For example, you want to avoid misfortunes because you're someone that usually runs into trouble. You want to avoid, for example, getting involved in uncomfortable situations. For example, um, your life or your profession is of such a nature that you run the risk of misfortune, you name it. Uh, for example, you're either occupied in the armed forces, you're either a soldier or you're a police officer or a security guard, in any case you're someone that, uh, whose job is deemed as high risk, as in, hey listen, you know what you do for a living puts you at a high risk, a high probability of coming into contact with, for example, criminals or getting seriously hurt or killed even. An egregore can protect you from all of that and you'll be forewarned when danger is afoot or you'll be diverted from said danger. Like I said, the only exception to that rule, highly exceptional, is, some, is if something is meant to happen to you karmically. But even then, the karmic debt will be squared away to a point where the easiest option is selected for you. So if it's easier for you to, for example, for example, to stub your toe than to get stabbed on the job, then yeah, the egregore is going to make you stub your toe, okay? because he obviously works by priority. Your well-being is uh, pivotal. Um, that's an example. Assistance in any matter, okay? The stock market, for example. Let's just say that you have an interest in becoming a stockbroker. Yeah, the Egregore can help you and you'll automatically be guided to the best opportunities and uh, stocks that will have the highest value. It doesn't matter even if you don't know anything, as in you don't know anything about the stock market and you have no idea where to begin. He's going to guide you to um, to all the knowledge, to the locations where you'll find the knowledge. For example, he'll lead you to the right websites if you browse online for, for where to get started, the right companies, you name it. He'll connect you to the right people, okay? He'll give you the right networking environment you need to get things up and running in a smooth and as convenient way as possible. Um, same thing goes with providing someone with knowledge on an academic level. 
you know, someone wants to know something about a specific subject or a set of subjects. This is especially uh, convenient for like college students or people of such a nature, you know, people that, or professors, you name it, scientists, people that generally speaking, uh, academia plays a good role in their life or in their lives. Um, assistance in ventures, looking after, for example, material assets, looking after a house, looking after a car, looking after anything, okay? Let's just say that you have like a vacation home and you don't want it to be broken into because it, for example, already happened in the past or you'll be, you'll be, you, you're someone that leaves uh, your country of residence regularly to travel. You travel, you're the type that travels around a lot and whatnot, etc., etc., etc. Of course, it pays, literally and figuratively speaking, it pays to, to, to simply, it'll put you at ease to not have to worry about your personal assets as in, oh, my house, I don't know, I'm afraid that it might be broken into. It's a lot easier and more convenient than having to, to hire or, or, or take in three or four guard dogs that you need to feed and nurture and take care of or purchase a, a, an alarm system with a subscription package that can be expensive. It just goes on, okay? And Gregory will literally, a thought form like that, that will specialize in looking after your personal asset or assets, it could also be your car, you name it, you name it, anything, then it'll see, the guy will see to it that you, you know, that your house isn't broken into, that nothing, nothing happens with your car. He'll simply see to it that everything stays safe and secure, okay? Again, it's like having your very own personal security guard or, or armed guard that can be in several places at the same time and that can't be seen with the naked eye. So, you know, it's, I mean, you can't ask for anything better than that in this department. Um, protection for children, for example, from bullying or other life-related issues. If you have a child, for example, that's having a hard time at school or you're afraid that that might happen, you have a child that... Um, you name it, a child that, for example, has some kind of disease or, or mental disorder like autism or anything like that, anything that you would realistically see as, hey, you know, I'm afraid that my kid is going to get bullied at school. The kid is either missing a leg or the kid has a prosthetic leg or a prosthetic arm after an accident or blah, 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 blah etc., etc. Yeah, yeah, and a Gregory or a thought from conceived to it that, you know, life is peaceful for that child and that nothing bad happens to him her or her and um, just see that everything stays cool and relaxed and that your kid doesn't have to worry about about uh, negative peer pressure and negative um, influences from their peers neither have you obviously for the most part uh, first and foremost you don't have to worry about stuff like that I mean in such a case if you find yourself in such a position you have a sibling or a child that is like that then you know you already have enough on your plate to deal with than to have to worry about, you know, issues relating to social uh, interactions for your growing child already. You already have enough on your plate than to have to worry about that on top of everything. You know, you don't want to be confronted with a kid or with a child that's suicidal because of peer pressure in a negative way, bullying and crap like that. Nah. Okay, um, and like I said, the benefit is with all of these things that I'm mentioning and that I'm going to continue mentioning uh, until I'm done, is that the Agregory lasts a lifetime. It's not like you have to worry, okay, I'm safe for now, as in, oh, I'm safe for half a year, I'm safe for a year, etc., etc., etc. No, no, no. Okay, the Agregory is there in the background working non-stop to see to it that things not only are safe, but stay safe. Or things not only are as you want them to be, but they stay the way you want them to be. Um, gardening and income or clientele for your job or profession. Yeah. I can't emphasize the importance and the convenience of this enough. People that have businesses or that run businesses or that own businesses or all of them combined, businesses that are commission related, businesses that that essentially have to do with uh, businesses that are of such a nature or a line of work where you specifically need to bring in as much money as possible through clientele, whether it be on a commission level, if you're a salesman or a saleswoman, you name it, you're a real estate agent, etc. With jobs like that, it's all about sell, sell, sell. If you don't sell, then you're not going to make any money. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, I don't have to point out how invaluable an aggregate would be. 
an egregory like that that specializes in that would literally just bring customers to you. That's him, his or her job or its job. He brings customers to you specifically, as many as possible. And yeah, you end up making a good deal of money as a result from it and all the benefits that accompany that obviously. I mean, who doesn't want that? And again, this applies to any business, any business. It doesn't matter how large or how small the business is. You can easily keep track of stuff like this as well. If you want to be as detail conscious as possible, you can compare it, okay? How much did I make on average before the egregore and how much do I make now? Obviously, you'll notice the difference. If you don't notice a difference, obviously that doesn't literally mean that there is nothing to be had right away. I mean, that doesn't mean that it, there are no results. It, there are a variety of reasons. It's possible, for example, that you're already going at max, um, at max power in terms of how much, how many, how many commissions you can bring in, uh, and there are literally no other commissions. Okay, with this, I'm simply reminding people that you can't like pull something out of your ass. Just to, and the same goes for the egregore. If there are no opportunities to be made uh, use of, then there's nothing to be done. Okay, but my point is, you've got someone watching your back 24/7. So the second there is an opportunity. He'll do everything in his or her power to bring the opportunity to your doorstep. Um, other thing that I was going to mention as well, taking care of uh, your love or sex life to see to that you obtain these. You're someone, you know, you want to have an active either love life or sex life or both. Uh, an egregore will easily be able to help you out in that department by bringing, again, like I said just now, opportunity. Sorry, opportunities to your doorstep. It, it, it beats the alternative of having to do everything yourself when you don't know exactly where to start. As in, okay, let me just sign up for a couple of dating sites. Uh, let me sign up for Tinder or similar. And, and you just have to keep swiping, swiping, swiping left and right through profiles without, um, you know, without really just getting what you want or getting what you want the way you want it or, um, or, or just having to deal with, for example, spam or scammers on dating sites or fake profiles and all you do is just waste money. The Egregore will guide you in the most convenient way possible, okay? People will be linked to you and you'll essentially get the cream of the crop and all the negativities, the likes of which I mentioned, will be avoided. He'll see to it that you avoid all of that. He'll see to it that you avoid fake profiles, etc. And again, if you're the average person even, you'll just get a feeling, okay? Something in your, your head, that something being the Egregore, will openly tell you now, you know, skip this profile, fake, 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 fake. You'll be guided in the most efficient way possible. And that way you'll also, and not just that, someone will be brought to you that matches your needs and desires as closely as possible. So it, again, it beats the alternative of looking for, uh, of doing everything yourself because the Egregore can, Look inside your head and he can see, okay, this guy is looking for someone like this, like that, da, 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 da. okay, I need to bring a woman to him. Let me see which one women are available that are easily accessible for him and um, can be brought to his doorstep in a matter of speaking that match his interests and his needs as best as possible. And boom, before you know it, you're seeing a great person, you know. We have a lot in common, blah, 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 ha, 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 you name it, whatever you want, okay? Um, that's my point. It beats the alternative. If you need to do, if you're going to do everything yourself, for example, comparatively speaking, I mean, just compare it, then you'll end up like meeting several people that turn, with whom it led nowhere, and all you're doing is wasting time and energy and money, and, and you've got like three or four failed dates, and it just goes on. Um... Maintaining one's physical health and mental health, uh, quitting an addiction, assisting magicians, debt collecting, and looking after pets. Yeah, those are the last points that I had to mention. Yeah, looking after pets is self-explanatory. You know, especially if you're a huge pet lover, a dog or a cat lover, or you've got a pet whom you want nothing to happen to, the Egregore will take care of it uh, and see to it that your pet stays out of trouble. And that either no one kidnaps your pet or that your pet doesn't get attacked by some wild animal if that applies it just goes on and on and on okay you don't want a dog of yours for example a beautiful puppy to get bitten by a snake or something yeah just an example uh, or to get run over while you weren't looking at, at, at the one moment that you dropped your guard 
and your pet runs outside and gets run over by a freaking speeding car or a truck or something and turns into roadkill. No, you don't want that. Um, debt collecting speaks for itself. If you're a debt collector or you've got people that regularly owe you money, the aggregory will see to it that um, they bring you your money or they'll see to it they either that or that they'll um, they'll guide you in such a way that you that you essentially kick down their doors in a matter of speaking to the point where um, you get paid and the story where as opposed to for example if you need to do it yourself the difficulties you might encounter the person dodging your calls the person um, not answering the phone or just avoiding you overall okay the yeah, aggregory will come up with an active and uh, constructive solution to that as long as that is present and available, of course. And even if that isn't the case, and the person, for example, skipped town, the aggregator will notify you as in, hey, listen, you'll, you'll literally just get like a, a, an epiphany as in, hey, wait a minute, I think the person skipped town. The aggregator is the one that put that idea in your head. He's the one that's feeding you information. Um, assisting magicians, yeah, this is also self-explanatory. If you're a practicing occultist or a magician, you're an, a practicing sorcerer, the egregory can help you out in a beneficial and constructive way. It's like having your very own assistant, someone that, is, that brings stuff to your attention. And what's beautiful is that you can decide whether you wanna follow, um, whether you wanna, for example, follow through on an idea given by him or her or it, or not. You know, again, two heads, as the saying goes, two heads are better than, two heads are always better than one. With the egregory, you know, you can do whatever you want. If you want him to stand down, he'll know that he can read your intent. That's how he's programmed. So he'll know that, hey, okay, the guy wants me to shut up now. Fine, master, I'll shut up. Uh, master wants my input. Fine, I'll give him my input. It just goes on and on and on, okay? the uh, You can see the possibilities and the benefits that come along with it. If, for example, an exercise, an ex a clairvoyant exercise will not produce any mention-worthy effects, then or results then the yeah, agricultor will notify you. You'll get the you'll get the epiphany, the aforementioned epiphany as in hey, nah, this is not gonna turn into anything. And thereby you're you're gaining uh, you're not what gaining or not wasting time and effort unnecessarily on something that wouldn't benefit you to the utmost in a constructive manner. Uh, and quitting an addiction speaks for itself as well. Simply quitting an addiction, yeah, anything. You've got an addiction to what? Any kind of drug, anything, anything. Whether it doesn't matter whether it's crack, whether it's, it's whether it's heroin, it does not matter. Okay, whether it's something as simple as smoking, or you simply having the bad habit of consuming too much sugar or salt, etc., etc., etc. Okay, the agarbori can help you with that. You won't need nicotine patches or any kind of patch. You won't need um, anything you can think of. I've already explained this in the past in a previous video, uh, in a prior video, an earlier video, a previous video, where um, you know the majority of people that smoke and drink and, have, and that have unhealthy habits or develop unhealthy habits, it could be anything from nail biting to hair pulling, whatever, anything that can be classified as an addiction, even an addiction to OTC, over-the-counter drugs. Um, um, yeah. Usually these people, they, they're going through stressful times in life. These are people that are really having a hard time, a hard life overall. And that's how they develop these negative mentalities. Uh, so yeah, the aggregory can definitely help you with that. No smoking, no drinking excessively, nothing. It all depends on what you want. Uh, he'll simply do what he's programmed to do in relation to your wishes, needs, and desires. If you want to quit altogether, fine. If you want to have a drink on occasion, but you simply want to keep yourself in check or you want better set to be kept in check to the point where you're not, uh, you're not going over the top, then yeah, he'll do so. Okay, he'll actively stop you from doing so where you don't have the discipline uh, or the mental strength to actually um, res restrain yourself literally and figuratively. Same goes for a sex addiction, anything you can think of, anything, anything. Um, and yeah, it also falls under maintaining one's physical and mental health. If you want to maintain your mental health, physical health, you want to stay balanced and whatnot. If you're someone that's in balance, you, for example, um, you know, you're not as physically, you're, you're physically not the strongest or mentally, and you're simply someone that um, has difficulty holding it together. You're prone to, for example, either having a mental breakdown or a physical breakdown. You can barely even like walk a tenth of a mile without running out of breath 
then yeah, the Gregory will definitely help you with that. Okay, and whatever opportunity or whatever method is available so that you will accomplish your goal, he'll get it done for you. Even if it means that he has to either see to it that you start your own diary so that you can analyze and self-reflect on your own ideas or that you're guided towards simple exercises that will strengthen you or foods that will strengthen you uh, higher meat intake more calories blah 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 you name it he'll guide you in a constructive manner even if you're someone if you're someone that's super lazy and you literally want to do as little as possible in order to um, get there Okay, as long as there are opportunities available or at your disposal, he'll get it done for you. So again, that is pretty much it, okay? Yeah, I realize that this is a long subject, but I need to cover everything in detail so people understand. Because a lot of people, a lot, of, pretty much the majority of what I said just goes over their heads. They themselves can't practically apply it. We live in an age where people need to be told what to do, or, or I mean, where people need to be recommended what to do and what they want. Because people themselves have a hard time figuring out they, they, they don't even want to figure out, they don't want to put in the mental effort to figure out what it is that they want, but that's fine, that's what guys like me are here for essentially, okay, to spoon feed you in this particular instance, mind you. So yeah, that's essentially it, so you can see the benefit um, uh, of the guys that I can create. At my current power level, at my peak power, I can create 27 egregores, 27 guys back to back. Uh, yeah, it'll increase in the future, in the near future, but I'm already at peak power, so I can literally create 27 self-made spirits without, before I start to lose it and I'm like running on empty and I need to like recharge my spiritual batteries, but yeah. And again, I like to remind people of how strong the guys I create are. This is literally, these are literally self-created spirits that will immediately get to work. You don't have to wait for results or anything like that in general, no. And they're strong right off the bat. So yeah, that's essentially it. Um, if anybody is seriously interested, uh, you know what to do. Check the link in the description below for um, the article on this subject. This is a general Edergore store page um, and as well as my contact options there and, and uh, methods of payment I support and whatnot. Okay, all of it, you can find all of this in linked in the description below. Uh, so that's all guys. Have a good one. Bye. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye bye bye.